the other masks that are yet to be unveiled. Our vision for Ghana. Our vision for Ghana is ambitious and transformative. We envision a nation where every region pauses with industrial vitality. Each a beacon of innovation and economic prosperity. The regional industrial revolution is at the heart of our agenda. By transforming all 16 regions into a vibrant industrial hub, we will unlock Ghana's vast mineral and human potential wealth. The transformation will create millions of jobs, reduce poverty, and spread prosperity for beyond Accra and further. We are building a future where every Ghanaian can dream big and achieve greatness. Thank you very much. Thank you. And um, I am open now for questions. But before that, I'd like to say something, and it's very personal to me. I used to feel like I was very lonely because they told me it's lonely at the top. And when I was there, I could still hear noises and voices in my head and from the streets. Then I took a decision sometime last year. I prepared myself to embark on this journey. And I went blind in my dream. But I woke up again with my sight. I only found my way out of that door in my dream because there was an eye in my head that opened. So I want to assure Ghanaians that I'm not just someone that wants to be a leader. I believe I'm chosen. I believe I'm anointed and appointed for this very moment. I know there are doubts, but that's fair. That's fine. That's human. This is the time that we don't have to depend on choices anymore. This is the time that we rely on decisions. A decision that we take today that will shape our lives five years from now and build the future of our children. I am here to go through this journey with you. And together, let's build it together. Let's build a better nation, a better country, a new set of generational leaders that will thrive on our ideas and vision today. And in 30 years, I believe that we will turn Ghana to be the hub of Africa. We would build Ghana as Texas of America and be industrialist, be able to supply the rest of Africa, build the best relationship with other countries and unify Africa, unify our governmental systems so we can have a developmental agenda that will be continued by our children, children, children. Thank you very much. Thank you for making time to come here. Thank you. And of course, I'm the public affairs officer of the Ghana General Association. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, a few questions. I wanted to know and understand the unveiling of the new six. What will be their role exactly? What kind of role are they going to play in your whole um, new force movement and then campaign? That's number one. Number two, um, it's on the issue of continuous registration. I think that the, uh, I wanted to know if you have made an attempt to lobby parliament on that issue, because I know that um, the issue with continuous registration has to do with an ally, which the EC, I'm not here holding brief for the EC, but I know that there was a, it is involved with an ally, which was sent to parliament, but was rejected, or what didn't get the consensus from both sides. And so the EC, as that now, is operating with a previous ally which is what has been, it's been used. In order to get that continuous registration, we need to have an airline which will enable that. And of course, you can also get that clarification from the EC. I wanted to know if you had actually lobbied parliament. Thank you. Uh, Thank the you. other question. You have three questions. I wouldn't be able to memorize all of them. And I think a lot of people, in fact, I'm taking five questions, so two is okay. I'm, Thank you, so I'll let others. Yeah, so I'll Thank you very much.
Okay, so the first one, um, it's about the new six and what their positions are. Uh, of course, I won't be able to tell you all the positions, but I, I want you to know that this is where some great leaders are going to come from. You know, we are talking about the governance of this country, the legal structure of this country, the financial sector of this country, and the industrial and humanitarian development of this country. And we're talking of advice. All of these people will be coming out. But since it's unveiling system, I, I would plead with all of you so we can enjoy that suspect of seeing who is coming next and who is coming after. But I just wanted everyone to understand that we have made sure that the six angles of governance, development, structures, financial, investors, and all of that is what we're putting together for this country. The big six is supposed to shape the development of this country and therefore we are not going to depend on borrowing money from outside and bringing outsiders to invest in our country before we think that we're becoming successful. That's what we are shaped for, to be internally strong and build a strong governance that will shape this country's future for the rest of our lives and the ones who are coming. Uh, thank you. Uh, you talked about EC and the airline. I don't think I should be in a position to fix the problem for governmental institutions. I think that it should be their common rights to see and know that if I don't help this youth and the people who are entitled to vote, then I'm taking away their rights. And that's what the government is supposed to do. At the moment, to address what you said properly, I think a government is a, it's an embodiment of a nation that governs us as long as we live. A politician is a chosen leader that will come for a particular specific years if it's under the regime of democracy. And I don't expect others from above to control the government. I expect the government to use the laws of our judiciary system, the legislation, the executive arm of this country to govern the politicians. And until we make sure that is implemented, I think we might be going under somehow some kind of dictatorship whilst we're practicing democracy. These differences need to be straightened. And I want to use this moment to address that EC could be one of the institutions that can help to clarify these situations, to support the people, to move them away from being, being disenfranchised. And um, let's hold the government responsible for governmental duties and responsibilities. Although I sent letters to the parliament, to the Christian council, and copied everyone, including EC, I still haven't heard anything from anyone. Thank you. Okay. Question here. Uh, uh, that's the first question. And the second question, if you become president of Ghana, how are you going to be dealing with illegal mining, a.k.a. Ghana, say, which is affecting so many sectors? of our, our economy. Thank you. Thank you. Kafui, I would say that maybe, I won't talk about my first biggest surprise, but my second biggest surprise was when you were supposed to ask me this question on your station, on your show, and they canceled my interview with you. <laughs> and it was because the orders from above. And today, you happen to be with one of this press uh, 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 people to ask me this question. I think you're a great interviewer and so much could have come out that day if it's not because of how partisans were becoming in this country. That me coming to GTV and the first thing that GTV, which is a Ghana national television that we have been watching our whole life that belongs to this country, would cancel my event or my uh, speaking moment interview with you. And I'm sure you were surprised too as much as I was surprised. So it's one of my biggest surprises. Second. <laughs> <laughs> well, beyond that, what, what's a surprise you about running for, for president? Well, I, I, if I have to go on and on and on, I'll tell you a lot. A lot of cancellations have been on the back. You know, I think that, you know, a government should embrace their own. That's how the new Ghana should be. If somebody wakes up tomorrow and they say they want to, 
the next part of the woman, or they want to become the next uh, artist in the movement. As a nation, we have to embrace them. If somebody wants to be Bill Gates and they believe they're going to be Bill Gates, let's not laugh at them. Let's not cancel their ways of trying to voice out their vision. Let's not uh, interfere with their plans and their visions. But if you do that, you will make that city to be surprised if truly they're Ghanaian or they're not. So these are my surprises. And I, and I will have a lot if I have to go through. But I just wanted to use your one as a great example because I was truly surprised. And I'm sure you were too because you were waiting for me and you just found out that order from above says, I can't be there. We will explore them when we have the interview. Well, I, I, I have been called twice and I still said that I feel like I need them from, from the, not from the government, but from them as an institution. It's only right that they have to say, we're sorry, we treated you that way. And we have an issue. And you'll be the first person I might consider. Now, the second question, Galon Zay, okay, illegal mining, it is destroying our country. The sad thing is, it's not our country people that destroyed our country. They were still doing illegal mining. We could have controlled them. But we let in the Chinese and the millions of Chinese in our country. And they mine 24 7. Now, all our waters are poisoned. And the food that we're starting to eat is this same water system that is feeding the ground. So, believe it or not, in the next 10 to 15 years, don't be scared if you see any children with three eyes or seven fingers. It's happening already. Okay. Now, for me as a leader, the first thing I will do is I will stop the foreigners who are destroying my land. In fact, if the Chinese are hearing me, I will probably put hundreds of thousands of them under house arrest and call the Chinese president that this is what you've done to my country. You have caused 33 million people's lives. And therefore, you are going to be responsible for building and fabricating all our nest plants. That will recycle this water again for us to get our life back. And after, I will release your 100,000 people to you after four years of hard work to fix my country. <laughs> Just to show the world that we are not animals here. You cannot go to anyone's country and destroy their water, destroy their cocoa, destroy their whole life. What kind of government do we have? And we are sitting down watching them. What is Ghana today? Who are we? Anybody comes to our country and experiment us and do whatever they like? And they go out just because they put something in a brown envelope for somebody who is not even uh, uh, certified to be a minister or to be a leader. This revolutional consciousness is to stop certain things that is coming from outside into our country that is being manipulated. You know, we are being restricted. We're being destroyed. And our leaders can see it. And they're just watching it happen. I watch. Now, on the other note, with the local people who are also down late, what am I going to do to them? Will I arrest them too? No. But I have to call all of them. I have to stop them and re-employ them. Because I know that they know the work. But they haven't been given the opportunity to do the work. So I want to give them the opportunity that they should be able to give us our ultimate I am looking for 200 tons because I am I'm going to tell you right now, this country has less than eight tons in our central bank. And that's why we have to borrow money below a billion. Up until recently, when we needed three billion, we had to buy gold to make it almost 14 tons before we can borrow that three billion. When you go to Dubai, when you go to Emirates, these people are buying our gold every day. They pack it, they refine it, keep it as reserves, when it gets to 200 tons, they call any financial institution and say, look at my gold, the stamp, the Swiss stamp, I need 200 billion. And you just show them the gold and you have to take the money. So we can let our Galamzeis come and work for us in the next three years to reach the 200 billion and I will write all your loans up one touch. <laughs> because you have the money. God has given you the wealth. If you cannot see it, the person who can see it better will come and take it. 
But I want you and I want Ghanaians to be rest assured. I am not that a baboon. In your will be a faith and a member of the town. Now we shall be poor for now. We to see you now. We far away now. We far away. And Cassandra, you can't be a coming up with you. Come back, have a day. But a number soon tea and a number no more. I was so promoting and tea and a bit one among said me back. No, my mom, my mom, my jay. And I will make sure I create wealth in this country. I will make sure I will bring jobs in this country. Because, say, if we are able to just get another 3.5 million workers, we will have 7 million workers. 7 million workers is what we had in 1960. And the country was slightly above 7 million, which means 90 something percent when they had jobs. Today, we're 33 million. And it's at just about 12 percent that have jobs. The rest don't really. Just because we're tolerating foreigners and outsiders to come and take advantage of us. And we don't even know what to do with our own people. Our own people. We have 75 percent, which is zero to 45 years. The youth, this is empowerment. What are we doing with them? So this question is a great question. And I hope that you can ask me another one, but I will leave you for when I get my apology letter. <laughs> if I may add a few words for financial, as you have known me for almost eight years, Sorry, I, I would like to introduce General Nunu. Uh, this is General Nunu go way back from Toma all the way. I now, I am here this morning because I have one of the medical emergencies. I have a medical emergency. I need not to be there. I can't be important for me to ignore. When I speak, it's too important for me to ignore. At the age of 88, almost, I'm in 44. Am I? Am I? Twice your age. I'm going to be twice my age. Some people at my age, you know my age, I go by. They are talking, he's probably really working well. My brain is working 100% well. I can see the Patagon here. Patagon is Who can remember Patagon is I can remember that place. And I'm so concerned about Ghana that I thought if I'm meeting the press, no matter what, I should be here. That's why I'm here. A medical issue that I shouldn't be here, but Ghana is too important. And how many of you are 50 years and have a great one to be here? How many? No, I can see one. And my 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 last born over fifty. So I don't I don't I don't have any business at my age. Give me another two years, ninety. I don't know what I will be here. But as long as I live, in Ghana is very strong. I will fight my last breath. That's why I'm here. Because the family said, "What must happen to Ghana? It never happened." Who is from Munima? Anybody from Munima here around Munima? My father was a fisherman. I came and became chief of defense staff. It's not possible today. I had to fight for myself and I had people behind me pushing me, including Nkuma. But today, since the last, um, our, our, our little constitution, the fourth other constitution, 1992, we had two governments, two parties, Ghana and Ghana. Is the most abysmal performance I've seen anywhere in my, in my life. I've been in prison for 12 years. I live in Russia, I've lived in Canada, I've lived in the US. I've been everywhere under my own steam. And where Ghana is going, please, you young people, wake up. Wake up. Otherwise, when I'm dead, you can't call like this on my grave, get me said it big noise. We need a man like in coma, and that's why Kwame came. I got Kwame Kwame. What is the mission? Ghana must be saved. We don't care about Ghana. Nobody cares about Ghana. We are selling all our assets and you are watching them. I've lived in Burma town for more than 64 years. And that's I joined the army. Then we are selling the, the trade fair. And nobody opened their mother press and mute, saying nothing. The assets are being sold and you are watching them. This uh, Mac, Mac, is Macdan, Mac, Macdan. Selling assets and you are watching it. Jesus Christ, never happened in my life. And I was like you. So you young people of this country, wake up. Because the country is gone. Not only the child. Every idiot comes to Ghana and take Ghana for, 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 
los organizes. Me voy a hacer con nada. As you can fight for you at my age, I fought since so many years. In my little way, I've built Ghana, I've built O'Reilly, I've built six, seven secondary school blocks. When I start playing, I'm going to have a land cruiser, air condition, and if I was pushing way back to build Ghana, my children didn't go to school here. Left the country, Ghana, in 1982. My children went to Britain and lived there. But every Ghanaian, young Ghanaian, is my, my concern. So please, 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 young people, look, these two parties, I was, and I go for a little campaign manager. Your mama on advice, I was a uh, chief of defense staff, then data good advisor. They cannot fix this country, they can't do it. Take it for me, they can't do it. They'll come and lie to you, they'll do it to me, they, they can't do it. By that time, I'll be gone. If I'm called like based on my grave, you know, you said it, you did it, you did it to you. So please wake up. Ghana is at a risk. China, every idiot come to Ghana and take our assets and, and we are watching them. Every idiot. And we are watching them. Is that right? No. Your children, why are they going to survive? I paid my school fees, selling fees, going to catch crabs in Winneba. Then in the 1940s, after secondary school, my mother was selling in the market. Food stuff. We go to our crowd, they're selling on the streets, and we don't care. We have a lot of around. We don't care. We don't care. What kind of human being? Are we animals or human beings? Are we animals? Let's wake up. Never talk more about the same. Say, Yami, I don't know, sir, over your president or my Ghana. If I send me moon, she shall yell, dear, go a cremo, a maum. It's answer, yet you are no disabled, be real, ma, or more a work qualification. That's one year, you want any, it's a disability, in the young farm. I feel so as Russia. Ah, yeah, and peace, I enjoy no. At your time, no, or more because why enjoy it now. And I near toss to be away here, make a seer fire, say. A year, yeah, parliamentary, no, or call a year, parliament house. They are also can say, or why a bro for Cassa. Yet you are no gun, and so you be Cassa, tree Cassa, dear, or be a etty, aside other languages. No, what time? And one never cost over home. I'm a bear dying a month for every lady to a year the policies and in your mind, also our mind, no matter, as you said, gun any. It's answer, do to an anno and tip bro for rich, rich, yeah, you can no parliament, you made us. That's it, that's it. And uh, uh, okay. Now, I'm saying, if I shall say, I'm going to 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 say, i but at the same time, you know what's going on? When I saw this effort, I decided to come up for it. Where am I down? The very first person I met, he called my side of man, and he gave him a share in my head. He had a man or two back to come out. I saw a head one. And he saw a number of people who were going to come out. I'm not enough in a young group, but I'm a young group. And then I make a say, one leg, or internet, who with me? We see down back up, we see the man in man, we talk as five. Now make a change, say, it's a disabled for pet and no employer. Why employer, me now? My best friend, so, my friend Brown, he's blind, but who are the other? But tell me, who can't have a fee? And he did the Christmas, and he did the other. If you ask him, and he says, you're sending him, and he says, you're putting him. As a man, I say, I'm going to put him on the phone, and I'm going to put him on the phone, and he's brown. Because as some brown catch him, he said, "Was well, say the biggest tragedy that befell on a man is a man with a sight but without a vision, and you have all of it." In Tanya Brown, in coming the essence and the level of my greatness, but it took Obi and Niyefra. No, Kasama was see a woman, and my mum say. Si nyaku kwa krabe suma ni pa, nwa beka wudi ya chirewa, ebi ya wudi na 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 wudi na
omuntia po ana se bia ya nwo omu fuli ebo no ya ete se omu nka ho uhwe krom ha ya se se di pamu ba ya o disebu bia o ya wa hia fo so dia o ya wa lit and ya wa politicians and ya wa pastors christians obia de de ne box 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 nti obia she o undro bia e ma nko we have to open this country and make it a one nation one people one country I dear woman, come out to say, It's able for a juma as I say at the moment. It will be real home with my Ubu and a nine yet, or Tawa, Nessa, a juma bayano, or be all nine and sap on Timmy yet. It's a no one as I say, it created a juma no anyhow. It's a Timmy never been for months, she said. Usha cra, and we tow a tow a road tow sea fluid, tow boots sea fluid. Disabled or you or my dear Mobro, a four hundred. No more suit it more, almost so any a juma ye, our mini bibi. Tia Macuma so far set my sorting out. Now, now cut benefits for MP. Mean we now no cremuno politics, and ya dear no minim and sana. I started this movement because in ya dear no Macuma and politics in fact. And no more beer, no me shed a minor who go through her. And you may fair. And tonight, I'm a mean to me and family who ain't to cheat or be our politician. And yes, I've been pet, me pass them, say, be our politician, I'm in power. But semi free, sir, and mine on Cosuye, then no more being Cosuye and Sua. Say, I met him in what now or say, be a menu, a book of Sierra Free, and I say, a barbage contract be or ho, now, intimate yourself. And he may be my, and no more be a high best of supper, me share, ministries be proud of her. Ministries be crowd or honor. Obi be some say, and I'm a minister's in our way. Ministers, a view of papa, a be so baba, a be so mudada. Name woman, a view of her as a seal close in a crack. And Sunday, another right idea for that ministry, and Sunday, a be now right people are on betting them. And yes, sir, Unya, I know the minister, I got now the deputy, now for the offer, Nipa 500, now for Bobby's here, our IMF, now the ability of Moka. See, we have to cut all of these things economically. And I think, say, the MPs, no? Yeah, they're okay. Because we're MP, our Ghana, and just says, say, what land crews are free. We're vice then, then, and just says, say, what dying is here. And she said, I dare you, a juma, who did a bat of mining, and then for four, oh, wow. And she said, we are dear, my 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 dear, I don't see why you should get all these benefits. Yep. Uh -huh. And now, last one language, no? Language there. Uko China, Uko Shia, there, Ewo, Omoamu language, Mandarin. Uko Singapore, Obiye Shia, there, Ewo, the language. Uko Dubai, Obiye Shia, there, Ewo, the language. Uko Africa, Yaka Brofo. Na Ewo, Inyina, Ewo, the language. We won't say. There's a problem with that. But I've also seen an advantage with that. The problem is that Ushe Yukura, Ebia, you different Kasa, Ebia 10, and not 20, and not 30. So the different languages, no, the Mishian Kranino and Pitria, need to be expressive. Say, Mishian Tree means to me, I've been here, also to me, expressive. To share. Profunia dear Bakwa Ababa ye national language, continental language. I bet me the I express you. It is a young merena. I enter a sea bit in my bar. You bet me you saw Brofuna. You knew soon when you answer semu. You knew so, sir Brofuna, a when you answer semu. Now, Mukran or Moab on Tino, or Mugu say a policy is now a canoe, Nansa womb, because media mean him say, Possibronia or Chairman Brofuna, or a mistake or Chairman. Because maybe be better, the power of my governance and how I will use that same language to influence our continent, that will bring me a power that my own tree language cannot do. But I do respect my language and I do respect all dialects in the country. And I think that there will be a day that if they're not able to speak the tree or the ga in parliament, there should be some sort of translation even if you're watching on television, that would be able to translate what they're saying to you 
so you can understand. You're doing almost so I won't cover for me. And the Dawase, any questions I'll be sorry. Thank you. Okay, thank you. My name is Bernard K. Daddy. Why are you part of television? But I think, say, as a country, we have to have the structure and the planning to be able to give free education to our people. The question is, can we afford it? Because free education will probably come from tax people's money or our reserves. Say so we grow and we have a minus. Our GDP says 75 billion, but we can't get 3 billion. We have to go and borrow it from IMF. That means there's a big vacuum in our economy. And this problem should be looked at so it can support the decision that we've taken to give free SHS. And this are ABR. The cost of it, the kids will have three months of ed education and they'll go and stay home three months. They'll come back and they'll stay home three months because when you budget what it costs to give a nation free education, it's really high. That means your turnover also should be really high. I believe that if Ghana has exporting power, you see, the way to build your economy is to have exportation power where you export a lot of goods out, outside. So people's economy will come into your country. If you take your money to go and import goods into your country, you're sending your economy to those people. And so the same government, if he decides to give free education, it needs that avenues that is producing revenues in the country and causing a circulation and bringing profit into the governmental system to cater for that. And they could have problems. So it's very important that we look at how our developmental agenda in this country is, the benefits that it's bringing, the profitability schedules, and then apply economy of scale so we can expand education in our country from that angle. Besides that, I also think that if we're educating our people, whether it's free or pay for, please educate your country about what is in your country. The minerals in your country is important. The governance in your country is important. What the value of gold is. What it does with an irrigation system that would feed our agriculture. And the agriculture is the same food that we do the processing, which will give us the exportation power once it's processed. The agric is one, the culture is two. The culture is to process it. Now the processing is being restricted. If you don't have this education about putting plants and putting the things in place, that would process these things and package them. So you can put them on shelves or you can put them in warehouses and people will load them in container like Americans are doing, like Indians are doing, like Europeans are doing. That is the education that we need in our country. We have to add it to our academia curriculum. And this is the very free uh, education, free this, free this, free that. But who will cry school now? And whatever free education that we've given our children that we're going to get benefits from, that's what I meant by exporting talent. We export our talents out and we import our products in. The product that we're importing came from the resources, the mineral resources that it extracted from us. So all we have to do is to put industrialization in the equation and everything changes. Everything. Because you you create millionaires, you create entrepreneurs, you create governors, you create leaders. Now, Obia Obia CBI developing the crew. Oko abuchira omo develop your mukro. I no more develop your mini panel so omo omo no. Taxes are there for disabled. The be are they cater for them. So the value of the country grows when you put your nation first. Your country automatically grows. Automatically, when you disregard your nation and you think your country is rich, and you start to trade your resources, the country and the people will suffer. And that is torturing humans. So free education can be good if we can afford for it, and if we can let the people learn about our resources. Thank you.